Good morning. We are down at the Real Canadian Superstore on St. Anne's with registered dietitian Susan Watson, who's going to teach us the importance of reading labels. Good morning. Thank you for chatting with Hi. us. So first of all, it's looking at the label is just as important as the price almost? Oh, most definitely. I mean, if we're, we're always focused on price, but are we necessarily looking at what's in our food? Okay. So we want to definitely be looking at what's in our food. Okay, so what should we be looking for? Because to a lot of people, it just kind of looks like numbers and gibberish. Yes, and, and that's the thing is we want to be able to understand what we're looking at. So uh, right here I have uh, a package of cereal. And the first thing we want to look at is the nutrition facts. And what we have here at the top is the serving size. So this is one cup, and that means that one cup is what all this information is based on. Okay. So every product might have different serving sizes. It might be three quarters of a cup, a half a cup. We want to make sure that we're comparing apples to apples. And a lot of them might be skewed. Like what you pour as a bowl for yourself isn't necessarily that yes. amount. Yes, I always recommend if you're going to, you know, to measure it out because uh, especially if you're pouring cereal, you can pour two or three servings instead of just one. Easily. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah. Okay. So um, then we have the calories and core nutrients that we want to take a look at. So when we look at calories, we want to compare calories to about what we would have uh, for a meal in a day. So a meal should be about three to 500 calories. Okay. So this one right here is 230 calories. So that gives us a little bit more room to have another food group, like a piece of fruit. So this would be a good choice. Then we move along to fat. So we have the percent daily value, which is in the column in the middle. And if something is 5%, then it is low. And if something is about 20% is high. We could use that as a good judging. So this right here, fat, something that we want to keep low is 6%. So that would be low. That's great. Yes, That's good. Okay. very good. Then we move on to say sodium. Sodium, we want to have about 2300 milligrams or less per day. So this one is 25 milligrams and 1%, so that's very low. And if you want to think about a meal being 700 milligrams and a snack being 200 milligrams, we can see that 25 milligrams is very low. Again, good. Yeah. Okay. Then we move along to carbohydrates. So an average meal should be about 60 grams. So this one right here for one cup is 42 grams. So that would be good. We could still have a little bit more food with our meal. The next one is fiber. For cereals, pastas, granola bars, um, anything that's got fiber, we want to make sure that we have at least three to five grams of fiber or higher. Okay. So six grams is great. So you said you were having shreddies. I do <laughs> like shreddies. Yes, it was five grams. So that's good because it's in the three to five grams. But this might be just a little bit better because it's a bit higher. Okay, so it's important to look at maybe something you like and a similar item and yes. then maybe find that one might actually be a little bit better for yes, you. Yes, exactly. Okay, so overall, when you're looking at the label, you want lower calorie, yep. lower fat, lower sodium and sugar, yes. but higher fiber. Yes, higher fiber. And when it comes to sugar, you want to make sure that it's eight grams or less. Eight grams or less. Yes. All right, excellent advice. Well, coming up, we're going to tour around the store with Susan and help find some ways about how you can make healthier choices next time you visit the grocery store. That's coming up. Stay with us.